While it took the first Middletown fire crew just seven minutes to respond to the Super 8 motel fire, the next crew did not arrive until 13 minutes after the call came in. Fire officials say it was not an appropriate response for a location with high-risk occupancy. One deputy fire chief told Local 12 News off-camera that had the fire been three or four hours later, the result could have been catastrophic. The layoffs are creating safety concerns for firefighters and Middletown residents. It could put a lot of people in danger. I mean, if you only have one truck, two trucks in service instead of five or six, I mean, if you have one fire on across town somewhere else, what happens if you're on the other side of town and something happens? What Steve Audie lives right across the street from the Titus Avenue fire station that closed just before 11 firefighters were laid off. He does not feel quite as safe as he once did. And it's going to be a longer response time. It could be from three seconds up to now to 10, 15 minutes. I mean, 10, 15 minutes is a long time to be waiting in an emergency. Middletown Mayor Larry Mulligan says he's thankful no one was hurt in last night's fire. Speaking by telephone today, the mayor says he is disappointed the union voted down the proposal, but says, quote, the city's budget cannot support the old staffing model given revenue declines and spending reserves used in the past few years to preserve public safety positions, end of quote. Mulligan says the city needs the cooperation of the union to come up with a new model for fire and EMS services.